Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Steve. Welcome. A couple hours ago, I posted how to use your Sony a7 III as a webcam in OBS. And now I'm just testing it out myself. This right here is my Sony a7 III. It's a little bit darker than my webcam. I'm going to switch it in a second, but I have it set up. The quality looks pretty good. I'm shooting at 1080p um, at 60 frames per second because I wanted to match what I have my webcam settings as. And just to show you proof, I'll switch it now. So again, this is my Sony a7 III. And this is my Logitech 4K, which is a regular webcam. And I'm looking, and you can notice the webcam looks a little bit clearer, brighter. And the Sony a7 III is a little bit darker. Um, I have the ISO on auto on the a7 III. So I thought maybe it would look a little bit better but um, it's kind of dark. I don't have my lights all the way up, but I can raise the level a little bit. So let's see what happens when I raise the brightness on my uh, two key lights. So it gets a little bit better with the Sony. And it is pretty good. And I mean, obviously I just set it up and I didn't like calibrate my setup. I just connected the camera, um, but it's not that bad. I mean, you could tell like the quality is better just in my face rather than, let me switch it again, the webcam. Um, not that this is bad quality. This is still a 4K webcam, but shooting at um, 1080p now. And you could see the Sony a7 III right there, but it's still really crispy. And yeah, the Sony a7 III is pretty crispy too. Um, it has a little bit better blur in the background. Um, it definitely captures my face consistently, obviously, because it has better autofocus than the webcam does. And I have it set so it's always on my face. So no matter where I move, it'll follow me. And the Sonys are pretty much known to have really good autofocus. So I do like how this looks. And when I stop this recording, I could see how the audio sounds um, in regards to my mouth and my lips moving, but uh, this is all I really wanted to drop. So hopefully a couple hours ago, you saw how to set it up. It's really easy. And now you'll see how it looks. And um, if I like it, I probably won't switch because it's always more convenient just to have my webcam right there. And as you see, there's really nothing wrong with this webcam. And I'm just looking in the screen right here. It's really good, very high quality. Um, it doesn't have the blur, obviously, in the background that the a7 III does, but it's a really, the Logitech Brio is a really high quality camera uh, webcam. And again, this is the Sony a7 III. I have it set to 60 frames per second, and it looks pretty good. Not bad. So, what do you guys think of this little test that I have? Again, the Sony a7 III, Logitech, the a7 III. Back to the Logitech. Let me know what you think. And I'll see you on the next video. Peace, guys.